Is a Sharder then. Hands of Jim Crowley for Roger Varian. See the stands in the background there. Reasonable crowd enjoying the sunshine. Lovely day here. A mile and a half start. Relative tranquility. They break away. Illarap, who was scratchy to post, is scratchy in the early strides as well, just given time by Tom Mark Bond to find his stride. Meanwhile, it's the three cornered battle for the lead without a fight and scope of the first two with outbox in the beige colours as they race through the first furlong. In the back of the pack, Jim Crowley just looked behind and found there was no one there at all, so he can cross over to the running ground past the ball, preceded by Fox's tails and the nose band, and Illara, who's now gapped his way into a share of fourth place. So without a fight for Andrea Atzini, leading from scope, in the bottle green colours, Rob Hornby in second. Two lengths back to Outbox, who shows in third. And then in fourth place behind these is Illarap, who's gradually picking them off one by one and moves forward to a clear fourth. Fox's tails for David Probert, and the Shard continues at the rear of the field. So Scope, proven over further, just applying a little bit of pressure as they leave the back to Without a Fight. Without a Fight currently having a relatively soft time bit out in the lead. Outbox in third place, just encouraged along for a stride or two, leaving the back straight. Illarab is in fourth, Fox's tails held up, and likewise the Sharder, who will be half a dozen lengths behind the leader, who is without a fight, who, with the presence of Scope, is now just racing a little bit more keenly than maybe his rider Andrea Atsini would like. Outbox with that pounding action in third, Illarab in fourth as they pass the six furlong point, making the turn back towards home with Fox's tails and his shard up last of all. So out in the lead, it is without a fight, and they straighten passing the five. With Scope in second, Illarab's move through into third, Outbox, and still no move yet from Fox's tails, or Ishada, as without a fight, leads them up the home straight. Scope having to be pushed along now to keep tabs on the leader, Outbox and Illarab. And Fox's tails and Ishada are just beginning to begin their challenges, right at the back, the blue and white pair. Without a fight, still, Andrea Anzini trying to save what he can. Scope flat out passing the three is still the closest pursuer. Fox's tails is now pulled towards the outside. Ishada trying to pick up amongst horses. Illarab and Outbox are still uh, making the best of their way home. So out in the lead, it is without a fight with Scope. Fox's tails and Illarab trying to join in. Without a fight, that's toughed it out to this point. But Scope and Illarab now draw alongside. Fox's tails, Ishada yet to get involved. It's now Illarab who moves to the lead for Tom Marquand. Leading narrowly from Scope, who is fighting back over on the far side. Scope coming back and Illarab ahead between the two. Illarab narrowly holding on. Scope still diving, but Illarab will just... Without a fight, third boxes tails a shot and never involved outbox. Last of the six. Illarab took a while to find that stride. He's not the best of movers. You can see he's got a very low action, low head carriage, but Tom Marquand always just held scope who ran really well on his return to action in second place without a fight. Eventually was there four lengths further back in third place. Fox's tails briefly flattered. Ishada never really involved an outbox. Uh, dropped away. So a double for Tom Marquand. William Haggis is uh, the successful trainer again. What a day it's turning out to be for those two. And the best could still get to be done. William still has got Bailly to come. Two out of two on the card. Nine to two. Ilarab for Sheikh Ahmed, Al Maktoum, William Haggis and Tom Marquand. Back to back wins in the race for William Haggis after Al Arsi. And this now, Kevin, they settle down for some battle, these two. They do with them. It was a hell of a battle, and they, they were ridden in contrasting ways. That Brazil Arab was dropped right in, whereas Scope was ridden very positively for a trail horse having his first run back, but that he wasn't found lacking for fitness, was he? He rallied, he kept galloping. You'd be thrilled with the run of the second, but Il Arab, that's his second win at Group 3 level now. He kind of came up through the handicap ranks, but he's very much a stakes performer now, and I'm sure everyone involved with him would be, would be very proud of that effort. He was brave. Yeah, the Gold Cup's interesting with Kip last night, Stradivarius yesterday, the seconds run really well, but this was Illarab's race. Salian. Well, it was Illarab's race and it's Tom Marquand's day so far. Tom, you're in flying form, and that, that was an impressive performance from him. It was. Um, yeah, William's horses were flying form, which helps a lot. Uh, look, this lad, <laughs> he had that rear appearance run here a few weeks ago, and um, he's, he's a big horse, he was entitled to need a touch, and um, I was confident he'd come here today and run a really big race, and uh, like... We had scope in our sights at the two pole, and I was probably just forced into going half full on earlier than I wanted with the um, King Power Horse on the outside just coming with a run. And you know, this fellow's not fast, and a mile and a half, I just don't want anything to catch him too quick and to keep everything smooth. So 
and yeah, I was sucked into going sort of a touch earlier than I wanted, but he was really going today, he dropped his head and ran all the way to the line, and, and but he's, he's a real tough, genuine horse with a lot of ability, and, and he loves these galloping tracks. He, he clearly does love it here at Newbury, he's such a good form record here. Yeah, he has, and look, he's got some cracking form at York as well, and um, he's not really done an awful lot wrong in his career, he's, um, he's been entitled to a, a couple of the bad runs that he's had, and um, the rest of them have been good runs or, or, or he's had his head in front, so um, look, he's a cracking animal, and hopefully this will get his confidence up for the season ahead. Well, I know you're going to say that we'll have to leave it up to William and see what he thinks, but where would you like to see him in the future? you think we could see him step up in class a bit? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I see no reason why not to try it. Um, he's a horse that probably just does enough in front, so um, pitched, in, pitched in the deep end, he, he might just find a couple of lengths, hopefully. Well done, Tom. Thanks. I'm led up by my friend from York there, James Hobbs on the right. Well done, James, again. Dressed down a little, he looks immaculate at York. Leading up the Haggis winner, Illarab. So